Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Oh, I want to talk about uh, the mind and uh, how powerful it is. Uh, uh, I don't know, it's, I've thought about talking about this before, but uh, trying to put it into words, I, I, I thought, man, you just, you, you can't come up with the words. But the reason I, I thought words are not, it's something we need to talk about. And uh, the thing is, I've heard there's ways you can strengthen your mind. And, uh, and when your mind is strong, you can make all kinds of things happen. Uh, I don't even know what the limits are. Like I say, I, I push, I push my limits with my mind all the time. Yes, you hear me talk about the stories about traveling around down here, around people that don't speak the same language and, you know, bandits and all kinds of weird things. But uh, the one big advantage that I have over all of them is the control of my mind. And uh, that control uh, it, it, uh, it falls under everything I talk about. The profiling, uh, uh, the uh, doing things that you just beyond your capabilities. Uh, you know, I mean, all this kind of stuff all revolves around the mind. Now, uh, one thing, well, because of, of, of this, that's another reason that made me think about the, the mind being so strong. Uh, I don't take any kind of medication. And uh, uh, it's not that I learn to deal with the pain. That's not it. Uh, I've mentioned before, pain is, is an indicator. It tells you things. And we listen to that pain, especially when it's a little one, and then we can work on it and get it taken care of before it turns into a big pain. And, uh, but the thing is, uh, we get scared. We as humans, we get scared because of the things that are unknown to us. Now, why are these things unknown? Most of the time, it's because we haven't experienced it. And uh, now, we'll, well, I say we watch TV and the movies and read books and stuff like that, and we're taught uh, in school, we're taught certain things. And uh, so some things we think we know what it's, what it's about. And uh, so we just don't even, well, we try to avoid it. We know enough about it that we try to avoid it. Pain is one of those things. Now, uh, I say I trained SWAT teams for 14 years. Uh, there was a lot of pain involved in this. This is full contact. And, um, I say I, I do counter-terrorist work, and there's the pain is involved in a lot of this stuff. Um, so you learn what pain is, not only receiving it, but you learn how to put it out. In martial arts, that's why I try to tell people to take some kind of martial arts class. In martial arts, they they teach you how to handle pain, 
handle it both ways, giving it and receiving it. And once you understand uh, the pain factor, and it's in the mind, it is in the mind, and once you understand it, then you don't, you don't have the fear. That's why I say when I talk about, talked about the, the bandits before, and, you know, when I get, get out, and I'm getting in position to um, encounter, make an encounter with these bandits, uh, pain is nothing that I'm, I'm thinking about. Uh, at least thinking about for me. And uh, I, I, th I think about how I'm going to do them, how I'm going to handle the situation. And uh, so the, the pain is what I'm ready to project. And uh, in my mind, when I'm prepared and I'm ready to go on this, then they can see it. And it, it makes a big difference. Uh, so it's the mind uh, getting us, getting, preparing the body to do what it has to do. Now, it doesn't, I'm, I'm talking pain and fighting and stuff like that. Most people are always worried about getting punched, you know, so, but uh, I say that's just, and then after you get punched, you find out it's not no big deal. Then you're ready to go on with the fight. But, but it also applies to uh, all kinds of stuff, even even in your work, we prepare ourselves to go in to whatever kind of work we're going to be doing. Now, when it comes to the point where it's routine, you're just doing it and doing it and doing it, then it's it's, it's a whole other story. You're not really doing using your mental powers. And you really do need to develop your mental powers because that mental strength will get you, oh man, it opens doors. Uh, it, it, gets, it gets things done. And uh, I'll, I'll, let, me, let me talk a little bit about developing that mental strength. Um, one thing is, and we already do it. If you're watching my videos, you already do it. It's preparing. So you prepare. And if you've been preparing for any long period of time, you realize when you first start preparing, you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that. And then after you've, you've prepared your mind, you know, first you do it with stuff because we don't know any better. So we get stuff. And then as we get stuff, we start using our minds. We start realizing the realities and then it gets to the point where it's not the stuff uh, that helps you survive or, or prepare for things. It's the mental preparing. Now the stuff kind of helps you mental prepare. It's uh, kind of like uh, uh, praying. When you pray, you need to pray out loud. Because when you're praying out loud, you're your ears hear the words and you're reinforcing your prayers. That's, that's how you are strengthening your mind. You're strengthening it through listening to hearing. You're strengthening it through preparation, through preparing. Uh, when I say uh, it's, and uh, part of preparing is even watching and looking. And that's where, that's where a lot of uh, TV and movies come in. They do come in handy on that. When it kind of gives you an idea of, ah, oh, that gives me a little something more to plan on and think on. Because once you have it figured out, then you don't need to be concerned about it anymore. And then when the situation does happen, then you can uh, get your mind caught up with, oh, yeah, okay, and we're going to do this and going to do that. And, and, hey, you're not panicking. That's what a lot of people do when they don't have a plan. They're not prepared. And they're mentally weak. Then they panic. And because they don't have any options. They don't know what else to do. And uh, 
And you'll find that at all levels. So, I mean, uh, I, I tell you, down here, it's really weird because there's people down here, you can see they're standing on the side of the road and you can see the mental exhaustion they're going through just trying to cross the street. Uh, they, the cars are going by so fast, you know, faster than their minds can can keep going. So it's hard for them to cross the road. And so, uh, and, and but that's something real obvious when you're, when you're something you can see. Uh, but the same thing happens everywhere. In the workplace, you can see it, especially when people are doing the same thing and then they get something that's not ordinary, not routine, and then they, they whoa, what's this? They're, they're mentally not prepared. They're mentally not focused and ready to do what they got to do. So as you do experiences, as you get involved in experiences and you do things, you really want to involve the whole thing. I know a lot of times you go on vacation. Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that? Yeah, I mean, so, but you're not getting yourself totally involved in the experience that you're going through. I say there's cultural differences. Even if it's different parts of the United States, it's cultural differences. And do you practice ways to change situations? I talk about the, the, the copper coins that I give away. I mean, I can change a situation just with that copper coin. Uh, so, but you have to practice this stuff to learn this stuff. And uh, magic, I talk about the magic. Uh, I do a magic trick and that'll change the situation. So there's things we can do. And it's all because we are mentally prepared to do what we have to do. And it's the ones that aren't mentally prepared that are the weak. You hear me talk about the weak will perish. And uh, I know I have people say, well, you're going to die too, you know. I said, yeah, but there's a difference between me dying and the weak dying. Uh, so, and that's the part that, that you need to be concerned about. How to strengthen your mental. Because what you can do mentally. Because normally you do things mentally first before you do it physically. So the mental part is very, very important. Just Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.